Hi, my name is Dirk Horton. This lesson uses the abacus patterns to remember the multiples of tens, nines, and eights. Let's begin. Well, you do know that there's ten in each row and you've probably practiced counting by tens. So let's look at the result of that. This is pretty straightforward. Are you ready? 1 times 10 is 2 times 10 is 3 times 10 is 4 times 10 is 5 times 10 is 6 times 10 is 7 times 10 is 8 times 10 is, 9 times 10 is, and 10 times 10 is. So we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. We know that the, each row has 10, and we know that the total number is 100. So that's pretty easy, but it's really important because using these patterns you can count and learn the multiples of 9. Watch this. This is neat. All right, again, we know there are 10 in each row, but we've made 9s by moving, okay, 9 of them over to the left. So you know that there's 10 in the first row, and if you take away 1, it's 9. So we know 1 times 9 is Two times nine is. Notice again, we know there's 20 in these two rows, and if you take away two, you're talking about nines, two nines, and we can see that two nines is 18. Let's see how this pattern continues. Three times nine is 30 minus three. Four times nine is 40 minus 4. 5 times 9 is 50 minus 5. 6 times 9 is 60 minus 6. 7 times 9 is 70 minus 7. 8 times 9 is 80 minus 8. 9 times 9 is 90 minus 9. And finally, 10 times 9 is 100 minus 10. Now that's really, really helpful. Take a look here. First of all, let's look at these patterns, look at the detail, because you can practice this. But if you take a peek at nines, it's, they're really quite easy to do. All right. If you notice, when we multiply by 2 times 9, we're taking 20 minus 2. That puts us in the teens. So we know it's going to be 1. That is, 2 times 9 is 1. But also notice, in each case, these two digits add up to 9. 1 and 8, 2 and 7, 3 and 6. 4 and 5, 5 and 4, 6 and 3, 7 and 2, 8 and 1, 9 and 0. Isn't that neat? So it turns out that 9s, multiples of 9, always their digits total up to 9. And that helps you because if you can get the first digit, the second digit is what makes 9. See if you can get this idea. So, I'm going to put a new up here. I'm going to take a look at, and by the way, I'm going to take the abacus out of the picture here for a second. Let's do 3 times 9. We know that is, starts with a 2, it's one less, and then what makes 9? So it's got to be 2, 7. 6 times 9 has got to be 5, 4. 
nine times nine is eight one. You can really see that this nines are easy. All right. Well, let's put them up there again. If you notice again, we can look at this pattern. Five times nine is four five. 6 times 9 is 5, 4. So this pattern, I mean, if you, if you practice it a little bit, 9's become very easy. These numbers are very easy to identify as multiples of 9 because both of their digits add up to 9. Well, guess what? Turns out that 8's can be dealt with almost in the same way. Let's take a peek. 8's. All right, now we have them in rows of 8, and you can see that actually in each total in each row is 10, because we know that about this abacus. But if we move 8 over here, we have 8 here and 2 here. So it turns out that 1 times 8 is nothing more than 10 minus 2. It's the whole row. Take away 2. 2 times 8 is... 20 minus 4. And you can see that what we have here, two rows of 10, take away 4. So let's follow this pattern. 3 times 8 is 4 times 8 is, and you can say it out loud, 5 times 8 is 6 times 8 is, 7 times 8 is, 8 times 8 is, 9 times 8 is, and finally 10 times 8 is. Now, really important, take a look at this pattern, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. That's counting by tens again. And all you have to do is subtract by twos. In other words, you notice that if you're multiplying 1 times 8, you're subtracting a 2. If you're multiplying 2 times 8, you're subtracting a 4. If you're multiplying 3 times 8, you subtract a 6. And 4 times 8, you subtract an 8. You can see, isn't this a wonderful pattern? We are so lucky. With the abacus, you can certainly learn your multiples, and also your multiplication by 10, 9, and 8. I hope you're having a good day, and I hope we will continue. We'll see you at our next lesson.